ready? Gosh, I just, I love, can I put this down or no? Okay, there you go. That's too low, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I just, I love, I love this church. I love the opportunities that I'm given because this is my third time speaking at Unite and you know, it was, it was hard the past couple weeks because I was like, Maria, I was like, I don't really want to go up there. And she's like, no, like, you have a gift. And what really helped me was, Eric, our conversation we had last week with you just reassuring that um, I do have a gift and um, I'm going to use it for good and for the glory of God. So thank you. Thank you to everybody here to make this service happen because it's just a blessing. Um, so if we could just pray um, before we start anything, let's just pray. Father God, we thank you for all the blessings that um, you just pour down on us, Lord, that you're number one in our, in our lives, Lord, and we cannot thank you enough for loving us and giving us grace and mercy as we live um, in this crazy world, Lord. I just pray that today you help me speak with my voice as um, I'm sick, that you just give me the words to speak, Lord, that you just allow your spirit to flow through me and that whoever's here right now, Lord, is exactly where they're supposed to be. And I just pray whoever's here that they just hear from you. I pray this in your son's precious name. Amen. So as I was coming up here, I was like, well, it's going to take a little while to get up because this is really intimidating. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is really intimidating. And I don't like standing on this thing because it's like unlevel and I'm afraid I'm going to fall. But it's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. But a couple years ago, um, I was going through um, an interview process to get a leadership position um, at school at Hope where I go. And part of the process was you fill out an application, you go through a group interview, and then you go through like a one-on-one -on -one interview. And so I filled out the application, and our ne my next step was a group interview. And I had no idea how that was going to be, how that was going to go. I've never been in a group interview before. And so as, we, as this night had just um, came, we, um, we all gathered around in one of our lounges at school, and we had different stations that we had to do in order to just come together and be a team basically so we were put on different teams and there was a station where we had like we were on the moon and like we were like not surviving so we had to pick like the most important materials to the lowest and then we had to build our own dream our dream um dorm room and then one of the stations which was really hard and very intimidating was we had to build a tower out of uncooked spaghetti noodles and marshmallows <laughs> i don't know if you guys have ever done that but let me tell you it's hard it's very hard because you don't realize how skinny spaghetti noodles are until you try to put them in a, in a marshmallow and they fall. So my group, it was our turn to do this station. And it was, I only knew I think one person in my group and he and I were kind of just like, all right, let's just like let other people take the lead. And so we had about 15 minutes to build the highest tower. So we started building, you know, we, we were game planning and we started building, but we built one tower. The first time we built, it fell. So we're like, okay, we have more time, let's build it again. We had to make it stay up for like a couple seconds in order for it to like be like in the contest or whatever. And so we built it again and it fell. And then we built it for a third time and it kind of stood for a couple seconds, but at that time our time was up, so we had to move along. And so at the end of the night, um, they kind of ranked everybody of like who had the tallest tower, like of all the stations. And they got to our station of the building, the tower with the spaghetti noodles and marshmallows. And what the director said at the time kind of just kind of like reached, like kind of just like punched us and we kind of realized that it wasn't how tall we were building it, but we had to figure out how to make it stand. And she talked about you had to have a strong foundation at the bottom in order for it to stay up and to stand tall. And a lot of us kind of looked around and being like, well, we were going for the height, not like the steadiness at the bottom. And, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. And then she started getting into, um, the teams that they were trying to build for hope. And she said, when you start to build, you have to start from the bottom up. If you make sure you have a strong foundation, then you can build it as tall as you want to. But first, you have to make sure that there's a strong foundation to keep it up. And as I, as I was just going through that and going through the past couple of weeks of me just struggling, of like, God, what do, you, what do you want me to speak on? What, where do you want me to go with this? I feel like when it's like your third time like speaking at a unite, you're kind of a veteran. You're kind of like, well, you know, I got a lot to prove. And um, <laughs> I went to a worship night a couple weeks ago, and we were singing a song, and I just kind of felt something tugging on my heart of just like the word build. 
of, I was like, all right, God, like, build what? Do you want me to build a church? Do you want me to go back and build the spaghetti and marshmallow <laughs> tower? Like, what is it that you want me to build? And it wasn't what he wanted me to build, but I felt a tug on my heart, and all I can hear was, build on me. Build on me. And it made me take a step back and realize, am I building on Jesus, or am I building on myself? Because I think at times, as Christians, we go into this world where we just have so many things thrown at us that sometimes we build our lives upon how we think is best and not what is really the best, which is building on Jesus. I think that's really got me because there's a lot of things that, are, that were just coming my way, and I was trying to handle them the best that I thought I could, and I kept falling. I kept falling over and over because my foundation wasn't steady. It wasn't strong. It wasn't sturdy. It was fragile, and it kept falling. And that just, that just reminded me of a scripture that just was really, really amazing. So if we'll all turn to Matthew 7, 24 um, through 27. But before I read it, I want to ask us all a question. How many of us are trying to build our life? but it keeps falling because it's not being built on a strong enough foundation. I want you to think about that for a second. We try and we try to build our own foundation on what we think is best and what we think that is right. But over and over again, we just get let down because we're not strong enough to be that foundation. So as we read, Jesus says, anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Through the rain comes in torrents, and the flood rider, the floodwaters rise, and the winds beat against that house. It won't collapse because it is being built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey, it is foolish. Like a person who builds a house on a, on sand, when the raids and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it would collapse with a mighty crash. Just like that song we sang a couple minutes ago. It wasn't even planned, but Mark McKenzie and I were kind of like, do you want to sing this song? And I was like, yes, let's sing it. Because I love how Jesus gives two scenarios of if you follow my way and on my teachings and build on me, you'll stand strong. But if you don't, you're foolish and you will collapse. You know, Jesus was straight up and he was real and he was just, he was really forward with it. He wasn't like kind of like petty and kind of was like, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. But he was like, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Because if you don't build on me, you don't follow my teachings, you're going to fall. I think that's amazing about the God that we serve is he tells us what's going to happen if we don't follow his ways. If we don't build on him and build out the love that he created for us. Because I think at times as people of ourselves, we kind of don't tell people what's going to happen if something's bad's going to happen to them. The teachings that Jesus was teaching was real and he was honest. And what I love so much about this scripture is that, is that he just gives us the real honest truth right there. And he says, build on me and you will stand tall and you will have strength to overcome any of the storms that will come. For the past, it's just funny how Randy talked about storms um, today because for the past couple of weeks I've been going through a storm. And I've been trying to build whatever it is I was trying to build on the foundation of my own um, thinkings of my own teachings, and I've been falling, and I've been, I've been, I've been struggling a lot, and it's just really real and amazing to see how our God really can just jump out of you and being like, if you don't build on me, you're gonna fall. And how he he had the scenario of two men, one was wise and one was foolish. I think at sometimes we're that foolish man in all of this because we either don't want to go what Jesus is saying or build on his teachings, but, but want to teach on or want to build on what we think is right. And also, I think also, too, we tend to build our relationships on what we think is right also. Because if you build on something that with another person, if you, on their teachings, then those relationships are meant to fall and stumble and not actually... Um, build up to be strong and in strength. And I've learned that because there have been so many relationships in my life and what I've endured and who I've come across where we kind of let Jesus out of the mix 
And, you know, I'm sad to say that because we didn't build our relationship on the foundation of Jesus, those relationships fell. And it was sad. But it was something that I believe we all have to learn in the fact that if we don't build every single part of our lives on Jesus, it's going to fall. Our lives are going to fall. We were not meant to handle all the things that life throws at us. I mean, that's why God went and sent his son to die for our sins because we couldn't handle that. And what is just so remarkable and so beautiful is the fact that whatever we go through, what our life entails, we have a strong foundation that will keep us strong. That no matter what the devil throws at us, no matter what the world throws at us, or, or even people, that if we build our life upon the love of Jesus and his teachings, we can stand strong, we can stand tall, and we can, we can be sturdy in no matter what this life throws at us. And that's what I had to learn because the devil, the devil likes to pick and the devil likes to poke and he likes to tear you down. And because in certain times in my life, I, wasn't, I didn't build my life on the foundation of Jesus but myself, I got knocked down and the devil won. But until God kind of pulled me back into his teachings and I finally learned, wow, when I actually stand on something that's sturdy, when I stand on something that's strong, when I build my life on something that's stronger than anybody and anything on this earth, I won't fall. Even the storms, the rains, the floods, anything that the devil or this world or other people want to throw at us, I can remain standing. And that's my encouragement to all of us, to all of you is that no matter where you're at in your life, if you have built your life on the foundation of Jesus, to stand tall in that. Because if you don't, when the rain comes, when the storms come, when the devil comes, you're going to fall. And that's not something our God wants. In a couple months, in about four, I'm going to be graduating college. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, a, it's an exciting time. It's a scary time, I'm not going to lie. Um, I have a lot of people at Hope who are trying to, like, sabotage me graduating because they don't want me to graduate. Um, you know, I even had Dr. Matson say, we're going to keep you another year, and I was like, I don't know how you're going to do that, but good luck. <laughs> um, I think someone tried to talk to Kathy about, like, getting my, like, registrar stuff. It was, it's hilarious, um, you know, because, but I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I don't even know what state I'm going to live in at the, at the, in the middle of May. But I do know something. Because from this day forward, because I've decided to build my life on the foundation of Jesus, I know that no matter where I go, no matter where I be, that I will stand strong on the foundation of him and his teachings and not the teachings of my own. Because in the, at the end of the day, I want to be able to stand tall in, in the midst of the storms, in the midst of not knowing, in the midst of the, un, in the unknown, to stand tall because I built my foundation on Jesus so that I, may be, that I may be strong, I may have strength, and that I may be sturdy in whatever comes my way. I don't know what that is. I don't know where I'll be. But I know for a fact that because of today and standing on this stage, this is a very sturdy stage and I love it. <laughs> I'm not falling, but... As we stand on this stage, I feel like standing on this stage, standing tall, building our foundation on that is so much greater than building a foundation on our own teachings and falling day after day, year after year, and month after month. My encouragement to all of you, and I love and I thank you all for allowing me to stand strong on the foundation that Jesus built on this church, that we may build on Jesus, Jesus and stand tall. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for who you are, everything that you are. I thank you for allowing us to build on you and not build on us, Lord, because you know at the end of the day, we are weak, but you are strong. You give us the strength to stand on you and to build on you for whatever storm or rain or flood or person tries to knock us down, that we, we remain standing because of you. I pray this for every single person here, that they build their foundation, their life on you, to see that when we build on you, we stand tall, and that no matter what comes our way, we remain standing. 
We pray this in your son's precious name. Amen.